Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this episode, I am going to talk about Rep for Power Apps. This is the new announcement that has been happened today by Microsoft. In this episode, I am going to talk about what do we mean by Rep for Power Apps, which are the features which are offered by Rep how we can use the rep at the organizational level and what are the different steps that we need to perform in order to configure the rep at organizational level. I am going to talk about overall theory part over here. Make sure that in this video I am not going to show you any live demo. This is the theoretical announcement that I am going to explain over here. Moving forward in future, if I will get a chance, I will make complete step by step video for configuring a rep for power apps but but till then you need to consider this overview video and whenever i upload the new video for the rep for power apps i will provide the link in the description box as well so check the description box for the latest information also if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter so far do follow me the insta and twitter ids are available in the description box so without further delay Let's get started and talk about rep for power apps. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened the announcement of rep for power apps. Rep for power apps open up lots of flexibility. Now power apps is officially a mobile application development platform stuffed with the great new capability. Rep is something which provides us low code mobile app creation, seamless end to end branding from home screen icon to app UX. It embed multiple canvas app into a single mobile app, which can be distributed the app natively to meet the end user where they are. Also, enterprise governance with iTunes for individual canvas app is also comes up with this rep. Now, let me talk about where we can use rep feature. So let's say for an example, for your organization, you have built one app and you have many things inside your single app. Let's say one recruitment app is there. There are many child apps for different modules. You want to make a package of the entire app and wanted to create some branding for your app. And when someone install it, basically you need that on your app's home screen. This type of native app development experience we can achieve with the help of rep. Now, let me talk about the overall architecture which RAP provides. So let's say this is one diagram which is provided on the official Microsoft documentation. The very first step is that you need to start with the primary canvas app. A primary canvas app is the app that provides the initial experience you want your mobile users to see when they launch the app. You need to make sure that you add this primary canvas app inside the solution. Once you are done for that, you need to register your soon to be mobile app to the Azure portal. So this is the second step. This is something which allows you to connect your company's resources, including your power apps online services. After that, you need to set up the visual studio app center storage location to store the build of your mobile app. Then it's time to wrap a project from the primary app. Optionally, you can add the additional canvas apps to the solution and wrap this to the project. After that, you need to customize your app branding with the icons, images and color palette to personalize your mobile app. At last, as an end user, you can download your mobile application from the app center. You need to sign and test the app packages and distribute the app package to the mobile user. So this is the overall process of implementing rep for your mobile applications. Now I know you still have many questions in the mind that you know how we can start this end to end process. So don't worry very soon I will come up with step by step video for the rep feature for sure. Now let me talk about some of the important notes you should know before you start with this feature. So at this moment, this feature is in preview and this is something which is only available for North America environment. So if you have environment which is located in any other region, then you should create a new environment and you can start ahead with this feature. Second thing, this rep feature is something which is not installed in environment by default. Basically, 
if you wanted to use this feature, you need to install it to your environment. And to install it, basically, you need to go and open up this link. And over here, they have provided the different step that you need to follow. This feature is in preview. And if you find anything strange, you can write to the Microsoft using this email address. And don't worry, all of these links are available in the description box. So you can check it out. Also, any one of you have started exploring this feature, feel free to contact me. Maybe we can collaborate or make some more videos on this topic. This is a very nice topic and definitely in future I will come up with some more content on this area. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. If you are looking for any consultancy, this is the website link. If you are wanted to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, these are the link. If you wanted to listen to different Power Platform podcasts, this is the link. And if you need any regional Hindi content and short content on Power Platform, this is the dedicated channel for it. Subscribe this channel and show your love over here as well. With this, this is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.